Oh, I think I'm gonna need a little bit of that. And a little bit of this. One quick cup of coffee. And then I think we're all set for one really fun building episode. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Minecraft with Kibitz. So last episode, I built the entrance to the Death Gauntlet here, and I asked you guys for a bunch of feedback on the episode, what you thought of the wall, all that jazz, and you guys were so helpful, thank you so much. Man oh man, tons of feedback on the episode layout, which is really helpful, thanks guys. And I got some ideas for the build, mainly to add in some nether rack and you know arts nether brick sorry and I thought that was a great idea so inside here I kind of just added in a couple of fences here a couple little I don't know tables I guess kind of on the sides just to start mixing in the new cutter because I plan to use it a lot more around the build as well because it kind of makes it so the nether rack doesn't stand out just as much there's something else that kind of like complements it but yes but anyway, for the rest of the episode, I want to start working around here, making this area nice, clean, and pretty, following a lot of the designs from what we've built over here. So we'll get started with the first incline. And it's looking pretty good now. Looking pretty good. Just kind of did the same kind of design as the entrance. Lots of stone brick walls. Hid some torches in around cobblestone arches and stone brick arches and then at the top here there's a little bit of a broken pit which will drop down the minecart person onto the slope and they'll continue on the course I just wanted to do this because when you're going up the roof all looks the same all looks the same so you kind of don't expect it when of course everybody will but I thought that was pretty cool and then when you get up here even if you're just looking straight kind of looks normal and maybe this will catch some people off guard and then just over here, goes over in a corner, and I'll just hit a wall or something, it doesn't really matter. And also, I added a couple windows here, because I think this will be the edge of our castle. And it looks pretty cool, like, check that out. Those are some pretty neat windows. I think they're all right, I think they're all right. However, we're gonna have to figure out something to do over here. Just cover it with something, I don't know, we'll figure it out later. But what we need to figure out right now is how to design this bottom pro uh, portion. So this next part actually wasn't too bad to figure out. I just made it kind of like a lava death pit. Kind of like you're like falling and falling. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. But of course, you land on the track and you're all good. Hopefully people don't get distracted away from the button, which is very plainly right in front of them. And then they're good. Moving on, we are off to this little area now. And I've started a bit of work here. What I plan to do, at least for this part, is I plan for like it to be the inside of the castle. Like, you're in a minecart going around the inside of the castle. This is just some kind of hallway. We'll have like a kitchen or something over here. And we have a tiny bit of space. Mm, we're a little low on space. I'm gonna try and fit in just aesthetic kind of things, like a kitchen. I'd like to this for this to be like a dining room. I don't know how well that'll work though. We'll have to see, I don't know. And then we have a track coming along this way, and that's gonna be like a famous person balcony for all the posh people to look over the castle and all that jazz. So I'll see what I can come up with. So things actually ended up a little differently. There's no kitchen, there's no uh, table room. Instead, we come over here and we have a bunch of jail cells now, because I was like, what are the two most iconic things of a castle? The jail cells and the throne room. So I have a little mini throne room. There's kind of like a pseudo entrance here. Little throne there. Might make it out of different materials. Actually, I probably will cha uh, change that to quartz. But yeah, it's pretty much what I've done. Finished off the roofs here, just a couple more arches. Threw in a couple little windows here and there. Balcony for the track up here, balcony over there, just just kind of randomly, just to add a little more detail because the walls are looking a bit plain, and some fences looking through there. So, pretty much done. 
I th I'm thinking I'll go through here with some banners and like painting signs bunch of different kind of blocks kind of really just spice it up a little bit more but this is like basically it it's looking pretty cool I also really like this like symbol thing I've made up there it looks uh looks neat looks neat that's pretty much it then the stairs go up here and it's the next portion that I haven't worked on at all and just a little hallway over here that goes nowhere just trying to make it feel like more of a castle kind of like uh, you're on a Disney ride almost Aside from what you could have seen there, there's not much to the castle aside from that. Pretty much around here, it's pretty boring because when you have a minecart and you're going through here, you are whipping down. You are whipping through here like super quick. Like, you know what? Let me grab a minecart, I'll show you what I mean. So we come in here, minecart, go forward. So look at how fast we go. This is the whole part. Go through here, go through here, fall. Oh, 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 oh. Come this way, there we go, and we're rolling around. Wow. It's almost like you don't even have a second to see what's going on. So you know, I might actually make it a bit slower, take out a couple powered rails because it's all kind of a blur. Anyway, we'll just get off there. Oh, whatever, it'll end up back in the same place. So maybe if we got rid of like, I don't know, one, one or two, just a couple, so you have a second to actually look around appreciate what's going on here I think we have to have one there actually mmm that should be okay that should be okay take out the middle one here then I'll replace those a little later that's pretty neat it's pretty neat anyway for the rest of the episode I've been building for like hours here so I want to do something a little different and that is I want to start to terraform the front area here so for those of you who may not have heard, I want to make this entire island not grass, not looking all friendly and nice. It's all supposed to be evil! So all this eventually will be covered in a castle or terraformed away with these kind of materials like red concrete powder, netherrack, soul sand, etc, etc. So... One bad thing about this concrete is it turns into... What's it called? <laughs> the powder turns into concrete when it touches water. So we have to be a bit careful with that. So around the edges of the island, we'll be using a bit of netherrack. And then I'm going to go with the flow with how it's going. I see they have sand. I'm going to add like patches of soul sand. Kind of work like that. At least try and keep the original feel of the island. Just looking a little bit more, you know, spoopy. Right? Right. Also a little worried if I don't have enough materials, because this will take a while, and I'm pretty good much going to have to empty out the whole nether to make this work. But that's looking all right. And then for the netherrack parts over here, just add in a bit here, add in a bit here, fill it in. I don't want it to be all netherrack, I want to mix in some like clay, or <laughs> I always call it clay. I can't get the names right today. Powder. There we go. So it'll be a bit of a random kind of pattern. Then mix in, of course, a bit of that as well. Fill the rest in here, see how it looks. Okay, okay. It's not bad, not bad. Just pretty much, I need to go over the island doing stuff like this. And then eventually, I hope, it'll look pretty decent. Pretty decent. Alright, the terraforming has started. It's looking pretty cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I got my groove actually for it. Where I use the netherrack here and the sand as kind of like a base plate. And then I do highlights with the magma blocks and the soul sand. These are magma blocks, right? Yeah. And then it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. When I had it all like crazily mixed up trying to have it all blend together. It's looking like a mess, but kind of working this way. It's making it look pretty decent, pretty decent. Now it's just the rest of the island to do. <laughs>
Guys, oh my gosh. Did not expect this project to take so long, but man oh man, does it look cool. Check that out. Pretty freaking awesome, eh? Holy, it looks like the nether, but better. Oh man. So as you can see, I just pretty much did what I said. Covered the island with nether rack, a little bit of the uh, uh, powdered clay, or powdered clay. I can't get names right today. This stuff. Mine's trying to blank. Anyway, covered it with that. Added some lava pockets. I'm going into the sea, which kind of looks... I don't know. It's all right. I can deal with it. And then a couple lava pockets here and there. Little pockets of soul sand around. A couple pockets of magma blocks around. And it's looking good. It's looking good. Also, while I was doing this, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do this forever. And I think I have some pretty good ideas with the rest of the island here. So it's not looking all nethery, but I might break it up a bit. But guys, I think that is going to be all for today. So I hope you enjoyed. Got a lot done, which is great. Hope you guys like the format. And anyway, please remember to leave a like. It really does help me out. And subscribe for daily content and live streams at 2 p.m. PST. But anyway, have an awesome day, guys. Thanks for watching.